Fox Float X Beginner's Guide. Before you even start, you need to get a hardware kit if the shock doesn't come on your bike. I highly recommend getting a digital shock pump. Yes, they do cost more, but they're really worth it. Finally, we're gonna need some volume spacers. After these items are acquired, we need to identify the eye-to-eye -eye measurement and the stroke measurement. So let's jump over to the computer. There's a long number here on the shock and we're gonna punch it into Fox. It's a 2022 Float X and it comes off of a specialized Kinevo SL. There's a really great chart inside of the volume spacer bag. Use this to determine your maximum spacers. We wanna identify how much you and the bike weigh. That's gonna be the total system weight. It's about 275 pounds. So we're gonna to need to run a lot of volume spacers. I always like to run one short of the maximum, so we're gonna run the big pink one. Screw the shock pump in, we're gonna let all the air out of this shock, slowly. Make sure all the air is out of the can. You could really hurt yourself here if it's not out. Get yourself over to Harbor Freight and buy one of these strap wrenches. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew the can and there's an Allen key. You just need like a, a rod right there. We're gonna unscrew with the strap wrench. So the strap wrench is doing the turning. Don't do that. We're gonna take a picture of the orientation of the volume spacer installed and it looks like it's just off to the side of the... I like to use a plastic thing. You could use a screwdriver. You just have to be careful. Okay, so they had a yellow one installed. Not very much volume reduction. We got super big system weight, so we're gonna bump it up to almost maximum. So it says volume spacer, make sure the Fox logo's up. And we took a picture so we know that the orientation. Okay, we got the volume spacer in. Let's double check the picture. And I caught a couple threads and we're gonna screw that back on. Skip this step if your hardware is already installed. So you're gonna to need to get a press set to put the bushings in. If this part is too difficult for you, you could just take it to a shop and they can press this in for probably 10, 20 bucks. Install the lower hardware, whatever that consists of. This is specialized high and low bracket. We pop that in. So stick the shock in the bike, grease the threads, put some Loctite on it if you're a rib big rider. So to get the shock bolt in, we wanna lift the rear wheel up a little bit. Then we wanna lift it up again. So you wanna thread it in as far as you can by hand. So if your bike's carbon, make sure you torque this, but this one's aluminum, so we can just go good and tight. Once we get the shock on the bike, this is a super important step. Even if you're putting the shock back on the bike, we need to run it through the stroke to make sure nothing's hitting. So it looks like nothing was hitting. So I'm gonna put some pressure on it. Now I'm gonna pump the shock up. I'm gonna go in 50 PSI increments and then cycle the shock. Put the O-ring to the top. You're gonna sit on the bike with all your gear, hopefully. If not, oh well. Then you're gonna check out the O-ring. That looks like about 30%. Should be good to ride. But if you really wanna get technical, we'll start measuring. Okay, so we're gonna go for 19 millimeters. That's a little more than 19, so it was perfectly good. So if you don't have fancy measuring tapes and stuff, you're perfectly fine doing this. I got it super close without even measuring it. When you don't know where to set the rebound, it's basically really easy. Find out how many clicks there are. There's 12 clicks. So we'll go to the middle. 
We'll go to the middle on six, and then we're gonna go too slow. You're way, you're way less likelier to eat shit with a slower rebound, so always start slow. Okay, we got the shock installed in the bike. I'm ready to go ride. I'm gonna bring the shock pump with me. And the reason I told you to get a digital one is because very small amount of air pressure in the shock will make it ride different. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you're interested in watching the review of this shock, click the video up here on the right.